cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa. Last week, apa actually made the uh, deep fried pork belly, Hakka style. And uh, then some people was asking whether if she can uh, use chicken. Actually, it tastes very good with chicken as well. Okay, so now today I'm going to make use uh, make a chicken version. <coughs> it's very simple. Only two steps. Marinate the chicken, deep fry. Two steps. Okay. Now, uh, I have here three pieces of uh, um, uh, chicken wing and also one chicken thigh here. Probably about 600 gram total. Because I'm um, I'm cooking for three adults. All right. And this is the main ingredient here. You can either use, uh, you can just use the red uh, fermented bean curd or you can follow me where I'm actually using a combination between red and white. So uh, you can use a total between four, around four to five pieces here. It's up to you. Okay. So um, these two, you only need these two ingredients. So first thing first, we need to um, dilute dilute our bean, uh, fermented bean curd with some uh, uh, Saoxing wine. Okay, let's do the diluting. Okay, so first of all, we want to dilute our bean curd. This is the fermented bean curd, okay. So use two cups of rice wine. A little bit of soy sauce, light soy sauce, not too much because the bean curd is already very salty. Uh, no, I don't think I want to add the fish sauce today. Okay, never mind. Some few dash of white pepper. And you want to add some sugar to balance it up. Okay. Then you can use a spoon to uh, smash everything out and uh, let everything mix evenly together. Okay, uh, if, if you don't take wine, you can use hot water or sorry, you can use water, warm water to replace the Chinese wine. Okay, uh, why I'm using Chinese wine is usually is two reasons. First of all, because Chinese wine is more, it's going to add the extra uh, aroma. Uh, secondly, uh, somehow using Chinese wine is easier to dilute the bean curd. All right, we will come back shortly. Right after mixing everything together, you will get a texture like this, uh, thickened gravy. Yeah. So we are going to use this to marinate our chicken. But first of all, put your chicken into a bigger bowl. Then we can add in the marination. Okay. The reason why I like to mix between the white and uh, red bean curd is because uh, I don't want it to be too reddish. Uh, if it's too reddish, then when you deep fry it later, uh, it can actually get burned quite easily. Uh, but don't worry, you can still use only the red uh, fermented bean curd. Yeah, no worries. Okay, you want all your meat to be nicely coated and evenly with the uh, marinade like this okay now is the most important part which, which is you, I'm going to cover this with a lid and leave it in the fridge for minimum two hours okay please don't marinate it for like only 10 minutes it's not enough the, the, the flavor will not go in to the meat itself you need minimum two hours. Okay, after two hours, then we can start deep frying. So, Appa just removed the chicken from the fridge. Uh, this is already after two and a half hours. Nicely uh, marinated. So, here comes our next very important steps on to how to ensure um, the, um, the surface of the chicken will be very crispy later. Okay, so you prepare some, uh, I'm using some cornstarch here, you can also use um, uh, uh, So this has been two and a half hours marinating in the fridge 
So now here comes the next step which is very important to ensure your chicken will be crispy outside later. Okay, so we uh, prepare uh, some cornstarch here, cornstarch powder, flour. And what we do here is we will actually we can actually take um, the chicken, coat it nicely with the with the cornstarch. You want to give it a few pats. So it will actually be one very thin uh, layer of powder. Okay, like this. And put it aside, let it rest for about 5 minutes before you want to deep fry. Okay, if you uh, uh, put on the flour right now and fry the, uh, immediately then you are going to see your flour uh, will be uh, dissolved and uh, get away from the chicken itself okay so I'm going I'm going to continue to do the rest okay so this is how my chicken looks like after uh, nicely coated with the uh, flour a uh, thin layer of uh, cornstarch all over it okay now we can start deep frying Okay, Appa is going to use a very simple deep frying tactic which is called double frying meaning we are going to fry two times The first round, we are going to use medium heat oil to fry the chicken until almost cooked Okay, then I'm going to remove it from the oil raise the heat of the oil until high heat and deep fry my chicken for another about 10 seconds or so just to crispify the outer layer okay so this is uh, one very uh, safe way of uh, and and good way of deep frying uh, any ingredient actually okay so we are going to start with uh, medium heat what do we mean by medium heat uh, medium heated oil it is basically between 140 to 150 degree how do you know you put the chopstick inside and you start seeing some bubbles coming out this is about 140 degree and you don't see any smokes okay the moment you see any smokes coming out from the oil it is 180 and above in which is already too hot okay so now we can actually put in our chicken which has been uh, resting beside for about for about uh, five minutes just now You will notice the powder does, does not uh, drop out easily yeah? because I let it rest for 5 minutes So never skip this process okay? So I don't have to flip it too early, maybe after one or two minutes, I will flip it over and the whole process will probably take me uh, less than 10 minutes. But I will, uh, I will look at the, uh, I think English is called eyeballing, yeah? You look at the, the, the dish and you decide uh, by looking at um, the, the, the progress yeah? of the, the deep frying process. This is about 3 minutes after I put it in, I haven't flipped it yet but I started to see the edges started to crispify a bit We can actually turn it over Oh yes, nice Nice and beautiful
Okay, I'm going to let it to uh, fry for another three minutes on this side. Then only I will turn again. I'll flip again. Okay, this is after another three minutes. Nice. Just, just an angle a bit. Mm, nicely golden brown. Well, if you are using 100% uh, red, 100% uh, red fermented black bean, now it will actually get quite dark. Yeah, but uh, I'm using half white fermented uh, bean curd. So it is not as dark, which is very good. Exactly what exactly the color I wanted. So I'm going to uh, let it um, fry for another three three minutes or so. Then it is done. Okay. Basically, frying time it really depends on your stove and also depends on your oil. It depends on many things. So you have to really decide on your uh, by yourself. But in um, in uh, now. Uh, Appa, I think the total cooking time for my chicken here is approximately 8 to 9 minutes Okay My chicken is definitely cooked And built with the beautiful uh, golden brown color I want, I'm looking for And the crispy thin crust outside So what I'm going to do right now Is to remove my chicken from the oil Then I'm going to raise the oil until uh, high heat okay raise my stove to a high heat and until you see the oil started to smoke then I'm going to put it in my chicken for double frying for about maybe about 10 seconds or so okay so at the side I actually prepare one piece of uh, oil absorbing paper Wow, it's already very crispy actually. Okay, I'm going to raise the heat. Let's give it probably about one minute for it to uh, rise. I've started to see some smoke coming out. So let's quickly double fry our chicken. Okay, you don't want to do this for too long. You just want to crispify the outer layer, yeah? To bring it to the next level. Okay, this is definitely done. Remove it. This is done as well. You will only take a couple of seconds, yeah? 10 maximum. It becomes more and more golden brown right now. All right, done. That's how simple it is, double frying. I'm going to continue with the rest where I'm going to tone down the heat right now. So here's my uh, deep fried chicken wing with uh, uh, fermented uh, bean curd. All right, if you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friend. Come to Cooking Up Facebook page, click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up YouTube channel. And don't forget to leave a comment below if you like my video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.